afternoon. Today I want to do a procedure for the person who is in labor. So I want to look at vaginal examination. This woman is in labor. She has come to you. So I want to see how can we conduct this uh, examination. So that's supposed to be done in five minutes. So we'll be able to do it. Uh, and today with me I'm with a group of second year students as well as third year students from Kalurushi College of Nursing. So I want to do, I want to see what can we do in five minutes. So there are specific things that we're supposed to do just within five minutes. So we we'll use this model, okay, to show you some of the specific things that you are supposed to do. While your fingers are inserted in the vagina, what some of the specific things should be, should be able to feel for. So be able to use this model so that you're able to feel for the parts okay so as i do the procedure you'll be able to follow through so that you see the parts okay so using this model we'll be able to see the parts that are you're supposed to be able to mention to the examiner that you have felt and the condition that they're in okay so this procedure is a sterile procedure so ve is supposed to be considered as a sterile procedure so let's start with uh, just ordinary hand washing so this is for us Okay, do that. Okay. And then you dry your hands. Meanwhile, you're supposed to go to uh, the patient. So this is Mrs. Uh, Chama. Good morning, Mrs. Chama. I am student number two from Kalulushi College of Nursing. I've come here to do vaginal examination. Could I please go ahead? Okay, she has said I can go ahead. Okay, is there anything I can do for you before I begin the procedure? She has said no. Okay, so at this moment, I have to prepare the trolley. So Mrs. Chama will be right back. Let me just uh, try and prepare. Then the assessment in this case, I have to wear gloves because there's something coming out which is like, what? okay, so you don't know what, how far it has gone. There are beddings there. So you need to wear gloves as you examine okay, or as you assess. So let me just try to prepare the trolley then I go and do the assessment. So you're supposed to prepare sablon because you should not just... Uh, do the examination without cleaning so you'll be able to clean the valve using sablon okay so you go there and again for you to do the examination some would require to use obstetric cream some would just uh, perform because it's wet there okay some would use obstetric cream some would just perform so let's say for example use the obstetric cream but some would just uh, do it directly because you don't need this because it's already wet okay so let's just say we skip this one. Then you wear some examination gloves, which are here. So examination gloves. Okay. Okay, so after you're done with that, you're supposed to go with the incontinent sheet. Okay, so that you allow the woman to at least be comfortable and the beddings are not wet okay can you smooth the model so mrs chairman back to assess you may i please go ahead okay she said okay i can go right ahead so you expose only this part okay then this woman will be now in dorsal so this is the position okay so that you are able to examine so this is a dorsal position so then the ink sheet is there okay just like that then, since you're not yet scrubbed, you just uh, get the bed sheet and cover the woman and tell Mrs. Chama that you'll be right back just after the preparations. So at this moment, now you can go and scrub. So you remove the gloves and scrub. So scrubbing for OSC is straightforward, but if you're on the ward, you have to change up to do the whole scrubbing that we taught you. Okay. So you do that for us, just do that one time, then you go up to your elbows, up to your elbows, then you rinse up to your elbows, just like that. Then you can close or ask your assistant to do it for you. Then drying of hands, you have to go the same steps, okay, there are four corners, so you go uh, like this, the first corner, there, yeah, from the tips, okay. Then in between the fingers, you go up to there then this second one you go behind your palm there okay then you rotate okay up to your elbow then the third corner do the same 
okay, from the tips, and then in between the fingers, up to the wrist. Then the fourth corner, which is the last, you go behind like that, and in between, then you go in a circular motion. Okay. After that, you get your hand towel and throw it in the basin. Okay, just there. Okay. Then you don your gloves. So how you don? Again, you have to consider sterility. So you hold just right there and slide in your fingers. Okay. Once you do that, you go even on the other side. You pick like that. Then you don. So at this moment, I am good to go. Okay. So what I will do is that I will prepare the swabs for valve swabbing. So then this other hand, which is going to do the examination, won't touch the cervical. So I'm going to just use this hand, which is not dominant. So I will squeeze there. Then this procedure is not saying valve swabbing. It's saying examination, okay? So don't waste time on valve swabbing. So you can just simply do one swab and say that you have done valve swabbing and you are going to proceed with the examination because valve swabbing comes on its own as a procedure. So I'm kind of asking for help. Would you just please expose the client for me? Okay. Okay, again. Okay, so at least you have exposed the valve. Then draping, you are going to pick the corners and then start from the furthest, which is there. Then the next drape has to go on the abdomen, like that. So you go on the abdomen. Then the third drape has to come to your nearest. Like this is here. Okay. So at this moment, you are supposed to visualize at least the valve. So you can just simply push a little bit, you know, down and see. Okay. Now, I said that this is an uh, examination in labor. So people need to know what you are examining. So I would ask for a model, but I'm not supposed to touch it. But let me just touch it, but you, you will not find it. This is simply for the purpose of demonstrating the procedure. So this is uh, the model that I've put here so that you're able to see what I'm talking about, okay? So the valve will be like that. Now this is a skeleton, okay? So just like that, okay? So at this moment, when you start, okay, you are going to use the left hand, saying that you're going to perform valve swabbing. So just use one swab because the procedure is not valve swabbing. So just one from top to down, just say, okay, my examiner, I've done valve swabbing. Just one swab is enough. Then you proceed to the examination. So at this, po at this point, you're going to really just inspect, okay, how's the valve? So I'm going to tell the examiner, okay, there are no sores on the valve. There is no rash, or if uh, maybe you can see varicose veins, you can say, but in this case, there are no varicose veins. So no rash, no sores, no varicose veins, or if there are any warts, you can say, okay, I'm able to see vaginal warts, or if there are any warts, you can be able to tell, okay? So from there now, you'll be able to get your two fingers and go in. So this is the point where I said you can either use uh, obstetric cream, but in this case, it's uh, already moist and slippery, so you just go in, okay? So as you push your fingers in, you'll be able to feel, is it warm and moist or dry? So in this case, it's warm and moist. So the vagina is warm and moist. So as you go further in the vagina, you'll be able to reach the cervix. So in this case, what I'm talking about is this part. Your hands are in the vagina like that. So when you reach up there, be able to feel the cervix. So in this case, you're going to talk to the examiner to tell that the cervix has a first, meaning that it's thinning out. So that's the first thing. Okay, there is effacement of the cervix. So that's thinning out. Secondly, you look at now the presenting part. Obviously, if it's the os is open, you say, okay, the os is open, then even give the dimension. Perhaps you say, okay, it's um, about uh, five centimeters. Okay, so the os is five centimeters. And the presenting part, you'll be able to say, okay, this is what's presenting. Maybe so, the oxpot 
Okay, so this is what's present. So it's okay. What the presenting part is the oxpot. Then the os is five centimeters open. Then the cervix is a first. So meaning that's what you're able to feel because the examiner is not able to see what you're examining. So from there, now you have to now talk about other parts. So the other parts that you'll be talking about as you are in instant the vagina, there, you'll be able to talk about this part here, this bone. So this bone you'll be able to do like that. So if you are able to reach this bone, meaning that the passage is not okay for vaginal delivery. So you'll be able to say sacro promontory not reached. So this is the sacro promontory. So this bone is sacro promontory. You're not supposed to reach it. Okay? If you reach it, meaning the passage is not adequate. So you tell the examiner sacro promontory not reached, meaning you're talking about this part. Then from there, you'll be able to come slide your fingers on this part here. Okay? So this part, you're going to say hollow of the sacrum. So this is the sacrum. So you say hollow of the sacrum, well curved, because we're assessing the passage of the baby. So this is the hollow of the sacrum. So you'll be able to slide. From the sacral promontory, which I've reached, you go to the hollow of the sacrum. You'll be able to say that it's well curved. From there, as you reach this part here, you can even see that there are these things here which are protruding. These are ischial spines. So ischial spines, you'll be able to feel if they are sharp like this, meaning that the baby won't pass, okay? But meaning you're supposed to do a cesarean section. So in this case, you're supposed to say that they are round and smooth. If they are round and smooth, that is. So round and smooth. So these are the ischial spines. So from the sacral promontory, you went to the hollow of the sacrum. Then from there, you went to the ischial spines. There are two, this side one, this side one. They are supposed to be round and smooth for the baby to pass. Then from there, you come out and come here. There is this arc here. You're going to put two fingers like that. So if it's able to accommodate two fingers, meaning the passage is okay, you're going to say that pubic arc accommodating two fingers. So you tell the examiner pubic arc accommodating two fingers. Then from there, you turn your knuckles, which are four, you go to this part here, okay? So this, these are tuberosities. So this will be tuberosity or intertuberosity, okay? So intertuberosity accommodating four knuckles, meaning that this passage is adequate for the baby. So let me just uh, take you back. When examining, I said you go, when you put your fingers in the vagina, since you, your examiner is not able to see, be able to tell the examiner that you have felt the cervix, which is a facing, and you tell the dimensions in which it's able to open. If it's five centimeters, you say, okay, it's five centimeters dilated. Then from there, you also talk about the presenting part. With your fingers, you're able to feel, is it the face, is it the oxput, what is it? Is, it, is it the legs? You should be able to tell the examiner the presenting part. From there, now talk about the bones. So I firstly talked about the sacral promontory, which is not reached. You can say, okay, sacral promontory not reached. From there, you go to the hall of the, uh, hall of the sacrum, which is well curved. Then followed by the ischial spines, which were round and smooth. From there, you come out to the pubic arc, which is accommodating two fingers. From there, you go into the into, to intertubacle or tuberosity space, which is accommodating four knuckles. So my friends, this is what we are saying, examination of a woman. Now this is what we're doing VE, okay? Vaginal examination, which is in labor. So this is what you're trying to find out. So we're trying to do this so that you get to know, is the passage okay for the baby? So in case it's not okay, you perform a cesarean section. So after that, you can do another valve swabbing just to ensure that you, le you leave the place or the valve clean. So you can just do one time Okay, just one swab, meaning it's done. So even now talk to the woman to say that, thank you, Mrs. Chama, for allowing me to do this procedure. I was doing this procedure so that I know if the passage is adequate, but you can try to use simple language, okay? Then you can remove all these and allow the woman to lie down in lateral position. Okay, so lateral position, we try to prevent, um, you know, uh, hypotension, okay? Because the there'll be the iota which will be compressed, okay, by the abdomen or the baby.
So we try to put the woman in lateral position to prevent um, hypotension, okay? So Mrs. Chama, would you please lie down in uh, lateral position because she's ambulant, able to move, so she can take herself in lateral position. So she'll go in lateral, okay? So at this moment, you even go to the examiner. My examiner, vaginal examination done, no abnormality is found, and the passage is adequate for the baby. Okay, so then you can even take off your gloves and then do the hand washing, which is done at last. Okay, you can do that. Then go and document your findings. So you can document your findings, maybe just scribble somewhere and say, okay, my examiner, I have documented and everything is okay with the mother, okay? So this is what you're going to be doing. Now for you guys, it's up to you to be practicing because you, as you heard, there are strange, strange names of which are supposed to practice the, you know, the pronunciation and know how the spellings are so that at least you be able to know what you're talking about. So practice so that you get to know the procedure very well. Thank you, guys.